Antonov says it is currently progressing on plans to build a second AN-225 following the destruction of its first unit during Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Ukrainian company is currently doing the required work to get a second AN-225 up and running. This includes a significant amount of preparation, such as calculations and experimental design works, until a consensus can be made on the direction that they want to proceed with. Antonov says they are also in close discussions with key partners that would supply components for the next AN-225. These conversations are progressing positively, and while talks remain a crucial part of the AN-225's reconstruction, Antonov says only so much can be done while the war is currently ongoing. The company says they'll be able to progress further once a conclusion comes to the conflict truly. Antonov further adds that they expect the process to take three years from start to finish when they can actually finally make ground on building the airframe. However, the dialogue that is ongoing remains an integral part of the AN-225's early design stages. The more they can knock off in the design process will make their building job far easier when they do get the chance to do so. Antonov has said it wants to restore the AN-225 because of its true uniqueness in the space and also its transport capabilities. The sheer weight that it can carry means its power is beyond any of the transporters currently out there. Ultimately, this means that since its destruction, it's left a significant hole in the industry. Additionally, the president of Ukraine has highlighted the will to rebuild such an airframe because of its importance to Ukraine and its people. The president calls a secondary airframe a tribute and also an aircraft that can live on in the memory of all the pilots that have died during the ongoing conflict. This secondary airframe is expected to share essential characteristics as the previous version. However, Antonov will look towards better features where possible, considering current certification and technical requirements are different now to what they were when they initially were able to certify the previous version. The D-18T engines, which are Ukrainian-made, will remain on board this next installment to the AN-225 series. However, there are discussions with partners in Asia, Europe, and as far as the United States regarding potential upgrades to the avionics. These conversations are meaningful, and based on the results that Antonov gets from these, they can decide which direction that they would like to head, whether that be utilizing upgraded parts and so forth to make the airframe more efficient moving forward. What are your thoughts on Antonov's will to rebuild the AN-225? Are you excited for them to finally make ground on this and see this six-engined transporter flying once more? Let me know down below in the comments. And a big thank you to United24 Media for making this mini-series on the AN-225 across the publication possible. And we'll fly.